there, it's Michelle again, and this video, we're going to just touch on a couple of the things that we can do in the repurposing arena, but in particular, using Canva. So here I am over at Canva, and in my Canva account. And what we're going to do is two quotes, and uh, one meme, and one infographic. Now, I have been very clever and gone ahead <laughs> and <laughs> created those already. Uh, so if I click over here, and we'll ignore that one for a minute, but this one here. So what I've done is used a quote directly out of my blog post. And if I pop back over here, um, it's actually this quote here that I've also pulled out inside um, the blog post. And I have put that inside. I've actually just used the general. They've got like a social media size when you're using Canva. So I've just used that. I've gone and grabbed an image that I think sort of vaguely represents uh, the quote. And as you see, I've also put my logo. So this is now uh, like a, it's an image that I can share around the web in different uh, forms. You know, we talked in the last video about using Buffer. So I could take this to Buffer and use it as an image. I could grab that quote. Uh, I could paste it into here, the quote, and put the image in and I could have it going across all of my different social medias, um, whatever time space that I set it up as, whatever I schedule it as. So uh, that's the quote that's from me. Now, um, this one here is the quote we talked about. A, this is a, a like two quotes. This is a quote that's from someone else. This is an original quote from someone who's <laughs> quotable, i.e. he's a, a philosopher. So. A Danish philosopher. So this is the quote again. I'm using this on the blog post. It's um, over at the top of the blog post that I did. So now I've got two quotes, uh, and again I can do the same thing that I was talking about a minute ago with the other one when it comes to sharing it. I could also use these images inside the blog post if I wanted to, by the way. And then one of the other image things that I've created is what we call a meme. Now a meme, it's a little bit like a quote. But it tends to be sort of more funny or um, or um, sort of it's they're kind of shareable. It's funny. Um, I guess a meme could be a quote, but if you were to look up the definition of a meme, it's sort of um, you know people use profound sort of things and um, inspirational thing. You know that kind of um, thing they usually put on it, and usually with an interesting sort of eye catching image. So I just made this one up. Um, I thought it might suit that blog post that I did, um, basically, you know, hanging on the fact that um, children of entrepreneurial mums often get a little bit neglected and uh, covered in ice cream <laughs> or the like. I think that's ice cream. Anyway, so, you know, that's the idea. And so it makes people look and they go, oh, look, that little boy has, anyway, that's what a meme is. And so now I've got um, two quotes and a meme ready to go. And if I just flick over to this other, tab that I have open for Canva, I am in the middle of creating what is an infographic. Now I haven't completely finished it and technically I don't really need to finish it immediately because <laughs> I don't really need to put this out until next week when you're all doing it. So I was trying to get all this done right now, but I realize it's probably just as good for you to see me trying to create it than it is to actually see me having the finished product. So in here, um, actually what I will do is go back here. So this is like it's almost the home screen of Canva. It's the bit where if I go, just trying to, what you will actually see when you come into Canva, once you've created an account, is uh, just this. So you've logged in, so it's obviously got my name and things here. Now you click more. So you click more, that little thing goes away. And what it does is gives you all of the different sizes um, and types of images that uh, it'll help you create. So I've chosen the infographic. So if, just for the sake of showing you this demonstration, here is the infographic section. And then I've just gone down here and chosen a free one. The ones that aren't free will usually be, uh, so that one's probably a dollar, that one there. So anyway, I came down and chose one that I thought would be closest to what I was trying to do. And I think the one that I, so it's this one here. So that's the one that I'm in the middle of editing. So you literally click on it, it pops over here. Because infographics are quite a bit larger than your normal images, 
Um, that's only 28%. So if you want to see it bigger, obviously you just click it, make it bigger. And then you can um, literally remove bits and pieces, obviously change the colors, da, da 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 So if I flick over here, you'll see this is a very similar one. In fact, it's exactly the same, except I've now taken out the, their writing, put in my writing, put my logo on it. And right now, I'm a little bit stuck because I'm trying to work out in an image how to represent this statement. And this statement, I probably won't leave here looking exactly like that. I might change it using different fonts or whatever. Um, it looks a bit flat and horrible like that. But what I'm trying to do is create an image that um, represents that um, mothers of young children are up to three times more likely to be self-employed than other working women. So I'm trying to work out how that even, how that should look in some kind of graphic. So over here on your, um, under your elements, there's all these different things and one of them is charts. So I was hoping to be able to get something from in there, um, which is what you can see me doing now. So I'm still playing with that. Hopefully I'll get to the bottom of that before, I, <laughs> before the end of next week um, so that an infographic can be something that I have on my list of things I've created. Um, and I also came down here and removed what they had there and replaced it with, an, with other icons. I got those icons from literally in here, the one that says icons. So when you click on it, uh, you've got all these different icons. So I just came in here and I grabbed uh, the icons that I thought best uh, referred to the statements that I made there. And again, I'll fiddle around with it until I get it the way I like. So now I've used, I have used Canva and I have four images that are slightly different. Well, all the images are different, but with Cyprus, slightly different messages on them ready to go out um, across the uh, social media platforms. So that's pretty cool. Uh, in one of the next videos, I'll show you how to create perhaps a slideshow for your blog post and then uh, where you'll be able to put that. So I hope that's helped. Come in and have a play. Um, you can't lose, <laughs> just come in and have a play. There's all sorts of cool things in here that you can play with uh, and then that'll help you spread your message around the web. So any questions, come over to the Facebook group and let us know. And we want to see your results in the Facebook group as well. So I will go now and I'll see you in another video shortly.